Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your Apple ID without losing any data. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. So if you want to change your Apple ID on your iPhone, your iPad, or your Mac, you can go through these same steps and it will change that Apple ID, but you won't lose any of the data on your iPhone itself. So the first thing you want to do is we'll head into settings here. And at the very top, you can see your name. So we'll tap on that. And then you're gonna want to tap on iCloud right above media and purchases. And then tap on iCloud backup. And make sure iCloud backup is toggled on. And backup now under that is a recent time and date. So make sure that your iPhone or iPad or Mac or whatever has been backed up recently to the iCloud and this keeps all of your data and make sure that when you change your Apple ID, you don't lose all of that data. So make sure that it's been backed up fairly recently within the last couple days. And then to change that Apple ID, we'll get out of here and we'll open up Safari. So you can use Safari or Google Chrome. We will want to type in appleid.apple.com. So you can see at the very bottom, appleid.apple.com. And you'll have to sign in. You can use your face ID to sign in. And this is where you can access a bunch of different things re related to your Apple ID. And the very first option shows your Apple ID. You can tap on that. And then it gives you the option to change your Apple ID. And it says, enter a new email address to use as your Apple ID. A verification code will be sent to this address. So entering your new Apple ID as an email address, keep in mind this can't be the same email address that say your sister or your brother or your you know, parents or somebody uses for their account. It has to be an email address that's not associated with any other Apple account. So enter in that email address Apple will email you a verification code and you can hit the um, code in there and hit enter and it will officially change your Apple ID. Now, keep in mind, if you change your Apple ID on your iPhone, but you also have a Mac, it will change it on the Mac as well. So if you change it on one of your devices, it will change it on all of your devices. Now, let's get out of here once we go through those steps and we've changed that Apple ID to a new email address. We can get into our settings here and then click on our name at the very top. And then we'll want to just scroll down and hit the sign out button. So sign out of this account and then re-sign in using your new Apple ID. Now, this will reset everything, but it won't lose any of your data because we just backed it all up to the iCloud. So it won't change any of your data or anything. It'll just change the Apple ID associated with this iPhone. One common thing is if that sign out button is grayed out, then you'll want to go back to screen time. I'll show you where that is. You just go, go back and right under focus is screen time. Make sure you turn off screen time because you can't sign out of your Apple ID while screen time is turned on. So sign out of or turn off that screen time and then you can sign out of your Apple ID. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.